Maker Studios. How they do? I was I was just looking up some stuff on Maker Studios. They like wiped a lot of that company from like YouTube. Yeah. Like there's a couple of videos like about like the history of Maker Maker Studios. Uh-huh. But a lot of the content that they made is hard to find. Hmm. Like especially like a lot of the behind the scenes vlogs I used to enjoy. So I yeah. wanted to see like because that was one of the, like the first like legit company studios to come out of YouTube, and they kind of like a bit off more that they can chew. I was really there. Was, there wasn't any operations before that. I don't think at that scale. I mean. They were like, I remember those multi-channel networks were popping up. And I always wondered how they made money because they would take like such a small percentage of a person's channel. Plus the channel was also splitting it with YouTube and they had like a bunch of employees. So I was like, yo, they, they gotta be getting like tons of VC money. But I guess in the end it fucking paid off when they sold to Disney. But then Disney How'd just they make money? that shit. How they make money? They make money from YouTube AdSense mm. and brand deals. Mm-mm-mm. But they would have like a lot of like when they would like do shows, they would invest a lot of money into like sets and costumes. And hey. I was like, damn, this is like they're trying to make like a fucking. It was, it was very it was cinematic, a lot more so. I don't know if people liked it like that, man. Yeah, it was kind of weird. It was kind of like was not YouTubey. They they tried they tried something and it wasn't it wasn't really what people were veering towards on YouTube. Yeah, not a lot of people remember that era. Shout out Rhett and Link, man. Oh yeah, <laughs> Rhett and Link is still fucking. Killer. They just be making food videos, and I think they started a, a web uh, a, like a branch that is not exactly mythical uh, about some like clothing and something dot LA. 17.2 million subscribers and they're interesting and I saw, I saw a tiktok of them one time and uh and i was like damn these, these guys really be just you know businessing it up <laughs> their characters on screen they're like and they have podcasts and stuff but they're fun i enjoy them they probably are just like this makes money <laughs> They're <laughs> like, yeah, we can't stop. We can't stop. The kids doing? love it. <laughs> it's, bro, I don't think it's hella kids, bro, is the thing. You don't? Okay. Their advertising is very adult-based. Because I, I used to work with a guy in college. He used to work, watch them at work. And I used to kind of yeah. be like, isn't this show for kids? You know? I think there's a percentage, but I think it's adults, man. They, they have the Motley Fool as an advertiser. They would only do that if their demo was 30-year-olds. I would love to see their demographics. I'm, I think um, there's probably a percentage because they do like they keep it they keep it like like Rick and like not Rick and Morty but like those old cartoons on on Nick that were very adult but you had kids watching them. They have that same vein where ever, it's like it's talking about cereal but like it's adult. <laughs> have you ever been on Social Blade? Uh, yes. Let's take a look at some of these stats. What do they got? So Social Blade is kind of like they got a sometimes referral. incorrect because they base their CPM on zero or 25 cents to $4 per thousand views. And some channels make way more than that. But what is like good mythical mornings niche, would you say? Entertainment. Just entertainment. So maybe they're making, honestly, they're probably making like $5 every thousand views. Um, which is not that great, but it says here they're making like two hundred dollars a month, two hundred thousand, two hundred dollars a month, two hundred thousand dollars a month. Estimated two point four million a year. Wow, I, um, I feel like I feel like they make more, man. Oh yeah, this is just AdSense with brand deals. They probably make. So I'm thinking even more. AdSense. I feel like they'd have a YouTube rep and be like, "Yo, we're a big part of your platform. We got two million views every video. Like, what's good? You need to bump up that CPM." Well, the CPM is determined by who wants to advertise on them. See? So, like, an insurance company will probably pay a lot for advertising based on who they're advertising to. They're more likely to, like, advertise on maybe Graham Stephan's channel, his finance channel, as opposed to Good Mythical Morning. If you look at Graham Stephan's 
stats on Social Blade, his views are way, 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 way lower. But I know his CPM is way higher. So it says here he makes about $32,000 a month. But that's based on $4 a month. I mean, $4 every thousand views. But his CPM is probably like upwards of $30 every thousand views. They got a Disney ad. They got a Vita something ad. They got... I don't know. They're not giving me ads right now. But they got some Disney ads. Probably make, I don't know, probably make five, six million. They have at least at least 10 to 15 employees. Dang. It's probably a couple hundred thousand. Probably more than that. Unless you're paying people like 40K. I think if they have 10 employees, they're probably paying them well. That's what I'm saying. Especially if you need someone to be as reliable as big turnaround, dude. Making a show every day. Yeah. It's a multiple shows every day. I think that's fucking that's work. Yeah. That's not that's not a 40k gig. Their system is probably nasty. Oh, get them on the pod. You know who has a system that's probably nasty? Philip DeFranco. I haven't seen a DeFranco stuff in a minute. Probably as a kick ass executive producer that's just on that shit. And Phil just isn't, comes in, sits, films, and dips. Isn't it the uh, that, that larger chick? Oh, Wonder I don't know. The brunette girl. I'm, I've seen her a lot in the past. I don't know. But whenever I see um, a job opening, for, yeah. like an editor for him, it always is like, this is not a job where you can learn on the job. You got to come <laughs> ready to work. Also, you got to have a car. A like, car? A lot of a lot of jobs are like, yo, you gotta have a car because they want you to like not be relying on public transportation and be late all the sure, time. Sure, makes sense. Yeah, so I, 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 like, I used much. to want to work for him, but I've seen on Reddit that he's kind of a dick. I could, I could see it. Yeah, and also I don't really know if I want that that work life balance of an everyday show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He likes red backgrounds, eh? He likes. I don't know. I haven't watched them in a while. I don't know what to say. I'm looking at his thumbnails. It's uh it's just a red red YouTube logo. Is he just talking about YouTube people? Sometimes he talks about like TikTok shit and I'm just like, bro, you don't care. Your writers are just twenty one. <laughs> you think he's teetering on failing? Failing? Yeah. Oh, a charter. That's no, I think he has a pretty solid base. And every once in a while, he gets one of he gets a pretty. Every once in a while, he gets a little viral video. But I mean, him just like Red and Link, he's been here since the beginning. Mm-hmm. So I mean, like I feel like he would have failed by now. Mm-hmm. Dang, dude, Philip DeFranco, Streamy Awards 2016. He took down all those really old videos. Yeah, I'm looking. He has a he has a reel of old stuff. Uh. Of source fed stuff. What was he doing at source fed? He was he made source fed. Yeah. He was the source uh, but he fed just wasn't on screen hella because I don't associate him with source fed. I think like YouTube gave him money and he was like, okay, I'm gonna mix source fed with this. Yeah. Good old DeFranco, man. Good old someone told me Lee Newton got fired. Was that you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From that they had a they had a, a different source fed thing that I think might have actually failed. Uh, called oh boy, Valley Folk. So it was it was a uh, horrible name. Oh, horrible views. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. What kind of views? Four K, two K. Oof. Forty six K. Sure. Oh my goodness, it's not. Oh my god. Not good uh, for. Not no. good for it. A low CPM niche. <laughs> a uh, Joe Beretta and Elliot. Morgan and ah, I forget his other name. Uh, but they made they made a show called The Valley Folk, and then they fired Lee Newton. And I wonder what she did. I don't know. She was fucking Phil, and then they're still hanging out with like you know Trisha. Her, do you know the Source Fed cast? Yeah, they, they're still they still got some features from Hirschberger, Trisha Hirschberger. 
wonder what happened to Lisa Nova. She's probably writing for Hollywood. She's probably just chilling. 48 videos seven years ago. Holy shit. See, really, that's a, that's it. Like, bro, you got some, some old blockchain? Get that on the blockchain, man. 14 years ago. What is it? Google, Google probably has blockchain as a, as a company, right? If you can record YouTube stuff on chain, yikes. With the graph. You know the graph? Is that a company? It's a crypto. Heard of it. Google with blockchain. It's a they gave you Coinbase stuff and it's kind of running up lately. Um, I got one more virtual virtual reality headline if you want to 